Hey everyone, Jersey Posner here with Up Close Travel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection. They are finally set due to set sail this coming August 2022 in the Mediterranean. So itineraries from August 2022 are out all the way to 2024. So if you're interested in the Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection, they have plenty of sailings available. Itineraries are available to 2024. Today, we're gonna to kind of take a look at all things Ritz Carlton. It's been a while. Uh, they were supposed to set sail back in 2020, early 2020. And they're finally doing it a little over two, two and a half years later, but I'm certainly excited and I know a lot of people are excited as well. So today we're gonna to be, it's kind of gonna be like a refresher on the Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection what who they are what they'll do a little bit about their dining what's included in your rate all that good stuff and if you have any questions feel free to contact me anytime i'm available by phone email or text seven days a week for now let's take a look at the ritz carlton yacht collection here is the ship the Evrima. very beautiful ship sleek looking 149 suites 298 guests so there's 246 crew members that's a 1 to 1.21 guest uh, to crew to guest ratio so you're going to have some amazing service here lots of crew to take care of everything that you need so the Avrima set sail this August 2022 and the original meaning of Avrima is discovery. So this is the Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection. So you can expect that legendary service, that gold standard service from the crew on board. So the Avrima has one of the highest space ratios at sea. Here you can see the Avrima again is one to 1.2 crew to guest ratio. And here are some other very uh, luxurious high-end cruise lines like Regent, Silvery Sea, and Seaborn, just below uh, the crew to guest ratio of the Ritz Carlton. So you are gonna get fantastic service with the Ritz. What can you expect from the Ritz experience? Uh, we're gonna go into most of these in more depth, but all-inclusive value, personalized service, the Ritz Carlton way, multiple dining experiences, 24 hour in suite dining plus specialty dining, all suites on board, each with a private terrace, unique marina style platform at the back of the ship that is unbelievable, wait till you see it, variety of social spaces for receptions and entertainment, the relaxed yachting pace, overnights and daytime ports of call, and of course curated immersive destination experiences on shore. The all-inclusive value, so you'll get your all-suite accommodations, dining experiences all over the ship, but you're also going to get beverages in suite and throughout the ship. That's included. Onboard activities and entertainment. Your gratuities are going to be completely paid for, and you get Wi-Fi in your room and around the ship. Here is the dining experiences on the Avrima. So you have open seating at Mistral, Talat Nam, the pool house, the Avrima room, Light bites at the bar, the living room, the marina terrace, and of course you have 24-hour in-suite dining. Specialty restaurant C, and then you have an area for private dining if you are traveling with friends, family, or you meet other people on board. This is Mistral Deck 8 Mediterranean inspired. Lunch or romantic dinner al fresco. Guests come as they are. The seafood bar features fresh local catches while prime cuts are prepared to order from the grill. Talat Nam on deck six, Asian fusion. Creative interpretations of Southeast Asia cuisine are paired with sophisticated, laid back luxury in this contemporary restaurant. The pool house on deck five. From a leisurely breakfast for early risers to late night dining, this casual eatery serves a variety of cuisines prepared a la minute. Here is the Evrima Room. This spacious restaurant offers a thoughtfully designed balance of privacy and social connection with a menu of locally inspired creations that change daily. Here is the private dining area on deck four. So if you're traveling with family or friends or you meet other people on board and you'd like to dine in private, you can with the Ritz. The Wine Vault on deck four. Here's the bar on deck six. Intimate Cocktail Lounge serves top labels from around the world as well as premium champagnes, single malts, and sake. Here is the living room on deck four. The espresso counter serves freshly brewed coffees and selection of pastries. Ready-made treats are also available for day trips and late nights. The marina terrace on deck three, cocktails and light bites. And here is C on deck six, the specialty dining experience by chef Sven Elverfeld of Aqua. That's the three Michelin starred restaurant at the Ritz Carlton in Wolfsburg. 
five course culinary journey inclusive of pre-selected wines and champagnes from the private reserve list there is a 285 dollars fee to access C per person if you are interested in this make sure you book or reserve your spot early you're able to do so 120 days before your cruise so if you do want to dine at sea make sure you make those reservations as early as possible now we'll take a look at the suites on board so i did make a video uh, recently showing a little bit of the different types of categories on board i'll link that uh, video in the description below but again we have 149 suites all have private terraces highest percentage of larger suites in luxury cruising there's two owner suites each with a private whirlpool there's lofts and combinable suites so if you're fa traveling with family friends and you want combined suites we can do so and of course your superior guest amenities suites at a glance so here's the owner suite 1091 square feet the terrace is 635 square feet so large indoor and outdoor here's the view suite the loft suite so two floors the grand suite the signature suite and your terrace suite here are the amenities and features so again we have your private terrace double vanity bathrooms espresso machines with complimentary coffees and teas your 24-hour in-suite dining, your complimentary Wi-Fi, luxurious custom king bed system with linens, your mini bar that you can request to have whatever you'd like, complimentary bottle of champagne upon arrival, individual robe and slippers, access to a personal concierge in every room on board. Here is the owner suite. So again, there's two of these on board, 1,091 square feet, Terrace 635 square feet, beautiful room. The view suite, there's four of these on board. Here's the loft suite, so two floors. You have your bedroom on the bottom floor and your living space up top. There's 12 of these on board, 611 square feet. Terrace is 81 square feet. Here's the grand suite, there's 14 of these on board, 587 square feet. Terrace is over 100 square feet. The signature suite, there's 27 of these, 429 square feet indoors, 81 to 118 square feet terrace. And here's your lead in category, the terrace suite. 300 square feet, terrace is 54 to 81 square feet. A very beautiful room on this ship. All rooms are fantastic and there are rooms that can connect so if you're traveling with family or friends and you want to connect two rooms you can uh, we can connect a terrace to a grand a terrace to a signature and a terrace to a terrace and here is the marina the multifunctional platform at the back of the ship this is an amazing place here great place to just come relax and take in the sights you can participate in some water sports activities as well there's paddle boards windsurf boards, kayaks, sailboats, and snorkeling accessories. Great place to come out, take in the beauty of your surroundings. There's also plenty of public spaces where you can socialize with other people or enjoy some privacy on your own. Here's the pool on deck five, the arrival area. Here's the living room, a great gathering place, comfortable furnishings. They have a library, travel guides, and bestsellers. Here is the Observation Terrace on Deck 10. Inspired setting for lounging, cocktails, or socializing. At twilight, the space is transformed into a venue with cocktails and live entertainment, extending into the late night hours. Here is the Humidor on Deck 10. Cap off your day with a premium cognac and a hand-rolled cigar. And of course, there is a spa and wellness center, gym equipment, group exercise classes, personal training, and fitness on demand. Here is a spa menu. If you're interested in this, you can reach out to me and I can send it over to you or I'll put some information in the notes below. Spa services include massages, facials, skin treatments, salon services, and barber services. Here is the spa treatment room. So you have indoor and outdoor area, the spa terrace, very sleek looking fitness area to get your workout in private fitness studio for yoga classes or other types of classes here's the barber and the salon and let's not forget about the kids if you're traveling with kids they do have a ritz kids program they have morning afternoon and evening sessions where you can drop off your kids and enjoy some time to yourself and the ritz kids programming these are geared towards children ages 4 to 12. four key pillars are designed to inspire natural curiosity and creativity and that's the oceans and marine life, destinations and their cultures, ocean stewardship and sailing, environmental responsibility. 
And with the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection, more overnights in ports of call. Most voyages are seven to 10 nights. And the ability to combine back-to-back -back voyages without repeating ports, that's really nice. So you can do a back-to-back -back without vis visiting the same cities. And intimate size allows access to coveted yachting destinations. So with a small ship like the Ritz-Carlton Arima, you can get into ports that the larger ships cannot. So up to this point, we've talked about everything on board, but we are gonna be visiting some of the most amazing destinations around the world and the Ritz has the Shore Collection. So these are curated immersive experiences to suit various interests and activity levels. So there's the iconic sites, stirring the senses, cultural connections, active explorations, Epicurean experiences. So you can sign up for shore excursions through the Ritz. You can explore on your own and you can even do your own private excursions. Like the yacht itself, entertainment and enrichment on board are an intimate affair. The Ritz in-house classical and jazz musicians will provide highly personal performances across the many venues on board throughout each voyage. The yacht's leisurely pace offers a freedom and flexibility for the team to arrange fully immersive cultural experiences both on board and ashore. From partnerships with the local arts and music communities, to discussions led by renowned experts and lecturers, each experience is designed to stir the senses in an uncommonly profound way. If you're celebrating a special occasion, a wedding, vow renewals, or any type of celebration, you're able to do so on a Ritz cruise. Now we'll take a look at some of the amazing destinations that the Ritz-Carlton will visit. Available to book now is sailings from 2022 into 2024. So again, we start in August of this year and itineraries are available to book up until spring 2024. On the bottom right-hand corner here, you'll see where the Arima will be sailing. So from August till the end of the year, we'll be in the Mediterranean. And then towards November, switch to the Caribbean, early part of 2023 in Central America, back to the Caribbean up until spring, and then head over to the Mediterranean till close to the end of the year and then early 2024 in the Caribbean. If you're interested in looking at these itineraries, you can reach out to me or I'll put some information in the notes below. But if you wanted to quickly see what some of these stops are, you can just pause the video. Here's 2022 season highlights, 2023 and 2024. Again, if you're interested in seeing these in more detail, just reach out to me and I'll be happy to send it over to you. And just as we're about to kick off the Avrima this August, the Ritz has announced there's two new super yachts coming in 2024 and 2025. So we have Ilma and Luminara. Here is that ship, magnificent super yacht. So it's a little bit larger than the Avrima. There's 228 suites on board. Avrima has 149. There are 456 guests on board. And you still have that crew to guest ratio that is super low at 1.125. So these look magnificent. And I can't wait for these to start sailing as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me anytime. I'd love to help with planning your trip or just answering any questions that you have. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to be notified of future episodes. I have a link in the description also with a link for my newsletter. If you want to stay on top of what's happening in travel, go ahead and sign up for that. Thanks so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.